Where the fuck are you going? Yeah, there's work to be done. You know what work is, don't you? Of course you don't. You got your wife for that. Why did your wife kill herself? Did she hate you? She was a diabetic. You know, you don't know a thing about my Susan. Either Susan wanted to die, or she was both fat and stupid. Used a Twinkie instead of a gun. The girls with big appetites, well, they just can't get enough of anything. Shut up. Probably nibbled on every devil dog in the county. Shut up! Just in case I'm not making myself clear, I don't mean the delicious snack. You son of a bitch! What you do is you roll into a ball or whatever, and you take your dick, right, and you put it up your ass. Some people are just lucky they know what they want to do with their lives right out of the gate. Like, you probably knew you always wanted to be an ugly reporter. I mean, what world are you living in, dog? Uh, hey, youngin. I'm living in the world that's only got 11 years left unless we make the three and a half to, or two and a half degrees Celsius not reach that point. What world are you living in, one that's TikTok-based? <laughs> okay, I was using you. That's why I kissed you in front of the waitress. That's why I banged you a bunch of times, just to make the waitress jealous. Amazing, you slept with me almost instantly. And by the way, a quality woman doesn't do that. She doesn't say yes right away. She says no to a man for years, like 10 years. That's what a real woman does, okay? You know what you were acting like? A stupid little rich slut. And that's all that you are. How can you do this to me? Are you still talking? Go away, dum-dum. Go run and hide. Go from me. I don't want to see you. <laughs> Women, right? Name the douchebag who's in charge. Vincent. Van Gogh yourself. Wendy? She's fucking soulless. She will rip your heart out of your chest if it helps her get what she wants. She's like a fucking predator that doesn't even know why it's killing anymore. And Marty? He pretends to care. But really, he doesn't have any real emotion. Or else he's too fucking cunt-struck to even know who he is anymore. Hey, you know what? If we come across somebody with no arms or legs, do we bother resuscitating them? I mean, what kind of quality of life do we have there? I would want to live with no legs. How about no arms? No arms or legs is basically how you exist right now, Kevin. You don't do anything. All right, well, let's get back to it. I am curious. What did you give her? A little respect, Stan. Something you should have given me. What good would that do? Where would it even go? But to the bottomless, gaping pit of insecurity you call a soul. <laughs> Be good to each other. Peace.